Okay, guys, so we're busy coming to an end with addition and subtraction within 100. Okay, we don't have many left. Um, yeah, four more lessons, and then we have one lesson left, a bit of revision. All right, just going to look at a few things. So, let's have a look. I know you've done this. And I know you guys are very smart, and I know you can do this, but let's just look at it one more time. Addition and subtraction within 100. stress, all right? Have a cookie, drink some milk, all right? Okay, have a cookie, drink some milk. Um, if you have a cookie, maybe maybe have a chop chip cookie, because you know chop chip cookies are good. Yum yum, all right? Okay, don't worry, all right? Don't disappear. Relax. There we go. All right. Um, Guys, remember, for example, this one, it says add 15 and 4. Now, you can add 15 to 4, but remember, it's easier to add 4 to 15. Because you can go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Or you can say 15 plus 4, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Same answer, right? Okay, so you can do it both ways. They show you the easy one. 15 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 19. So you can add like this. Or remember, you can add like that. 5 plus 4 is 9. The 1, there's nothing to add it to, so that 1 comes down. And it's then 19. All right. Okay. Um, all right. So it's just the same thing, guys. 15 plus 4 is 19. They're showing you 110 plus 9 ones equals 110 and 9 ones. All right. So 110 plus 9 ones equals 19. Okay. Um, all right. What do we have here? Okay. Add 35 and 30. This was just adding tens together, right? Just adding tens. 35 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. It's 65, right? 35, 45, 55, 65. Just adding 10 every single time. Okay. Or you can do it like this, remember? 35 plus 30. 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 3 is 6. Therefore, 35 plus 30 is 65. All right, and this is still exactly the same, guys. All right, so 35 plus 30 is 65. Six tens plus five ones equals 65. All right, using blocks, we can also add Guys, remember the blocks? I've shown you the blocks, how to do the blocks. You can also add by using blocks. Okay, what do we have here? Um, we can 
can use this method to add 44 and 23. It's just, it's what I've shown you guys, right? It's writing it underneath each other. Add 44 and 23, so you write 44, you write 23, you just add the 4 and the 3, you get a 7, then if you add the 4 and the 2, you get a 6, and then you answer 44 plus 23, 67, alright? This is, this is probably the easiest way, guys, of adding two numbers together, okay? And remember now, adding three numbers together, right? Adding, adding three numbers together. Remember what I've shown you, you can use. So you can use your ruler, right? Because a ruler is like a counting line. Um, or remember the other way I showed you, guys? Remember I showed you... Showed you what you can do. Let's let's just make let's make our own one. Six plus three plus seven. Okay. Plus seven equals how much? So what you can do if you want, <coughs> put the first two numbers inside a bracket. Okay. So now, you're going to add 6 plus 3, that is 9, right? Don't forget, now you have to add 7. Plus 7 equals, 9 plus 7 is 16. Alright, so remember, you can do it like this, or you can use your counting line, okay? When I give you guys a test, I'll make sure to put a counting line on top for you, all right? So you guys can add it to the counting lines. Okay. Adding two numbers together. Remember what I've shown you. Hang on. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Remember what I've shown you. So you can write, uh, yeah. you guys can write 22 plus 5, right? Then you just add 5 plus 2, 7. There's nothing to add to the 2, so you just carry the 2, and there you go, right? This one, 37 plus 40, right? Okay. 7 plus 0? 7, right? 3 plus 4? Also 7. Yeah? Alright. Let's do, let's do this too also. Okay. 44 plus 35? 4 plus 5? Nine, four plus three, seven. Okay, let's do this one also. Sixty-five plus forty-three, five plus three. Ah, huh? how much? Yeah, eight. Six plus four, ten. All right, guys. Well done. Okay. Let's do let's do these ones like this also on the board. Okay. Um. Right. So this one again. Two numbers. Still two numbers. Right. Sixteen. Plus 39, 0 plus 9, 9, 6 plus 3, 9. Okay, now these three numbers, okay? So, are we going to do the brackets? You want to do the brackets? Right, let's put them in brackets. So you put 
those ones in brackets. So how much is 8 plus 9? And 17, right? Don't forget, we still have to add 3. Plus 3 equals 20. Yeah. Let's do this one. Let's do the brackets again because the brackets are easy, right? You put this one in brackets. 9 plus 9. How much is that? Have think about it. How much? Yeah. 18. And now we're going to add 12. Plus 12. Oh, but that's a big number, right? It's not that easy. So what do we do? Put the 12 there, right? 12 there. And now you can just add like that. 8 plus 2 is 10. 1 plus 1 plus 1 3. Good. One more. Let's do the brackets again. Put the first two numbers in brackets. 11 plus 5 16. Very good. Plus 21. But that's again two big numbers. So we put them underneath each other, right? So we go 21. Right. 6 plus 1, 7. 1 plus 2, 3. All right, guys. By now, you guys have to be experts at word problems, all right? Remember, this is a mathematical sentence. Tom has 30 oranges and 15 apples. How many fruits does he have all together? So you got to write the mathematical sentence. 30 plus 15 equals. Then you do the math, all right? And you get the answer, okay? All right, guys, let's see what else is there. Um, okay. There we go. Thank you. All right, guys. Sup Supatra. Supatra has 25 candies and Pat has 14 candies. How many candies do they have all together? Remember, you have to do the mathematical sentence, so you have to show me, right? You have to show me how you find the answer. Okay. Let's do, let's do one or two of these and let's see. So, Supatra has 25, oh, that's a bad five. 25 candies. Pat has 14 candies. How many candies do they have all together, right? So we have to add. Plus 14 equals. How much is that? I? How much do you guys think it is? I think that's about 39. Huh? What do you think? 39? Okay, let's do one more. Let's just do one more quickly. Mary has 25 toy bears and Mook has 12 toy cars. How many toys do they have all together? So again, we have to add, right? So we're going to add 25 plus 12, and that gives us 37. Okay. So that's all for today's lesson. All right, we just covered addition. The next morning or in the next lesson, we're going to review 
subtraction. All right? 